You think you know me. another video wrestling maniacs today we're going to be giving the smackdown stage an upgrade now this is an idea i've had for months and months but i've just let sit back on the back burner but finally entering 2023 we're finally going to add the addition of curtains so that figures can walk on and off the stage there you guys can see a little bit of a better view i'm going to show you guys how to make it what it takes to make and the process so let's get started all right, and here is an overview of the materials needed to make the SmackDown entrance curtain. You're going to need a piece of plexiglass. This is 16 by 24 inches. You don't really need that much. You'll see in the video that I only use about half of it. You're also going to need a dry erase marker for some tracing, as well as some wire. Please don't use this wire. I'll explain later as we go on in the video. You also need some wire clippers. And for the paint, I went with the Bear Premium Antique Pewitter Gloss. Honestly, it's the closest one that looks to the SmackDown shards. So that's why I went with this one. You're also going to need some cloth. I like to go with the Soft Silky lightweight cloth the less weight the better now because i'm not a professional sculptor or artist i like to trace out my smackdown shards out on a piece of paper once i am happy with the design i like i'll go ahead and i'll cut them out because it just it's just much easier to cut them out on a piece of paper and get them exactly how you want than it is on the plexiglass now this is where your expo marker is going to come into play you're going to put the smackdown shards that you just cut out over the plexiglass you're going to trace them now don't worry about getting them perfect because if you mess up it is dry erase marker so it'll just come off you're also going to peel off a clear plastic that's on top of the plexiglass so don't even worry about that i like to cut my plexiglass in half and in half again just because it is a lot of plexiglass to work with now you'll find out real quick that plexiglass isn't as easy to cut please wear safety goggles you'll see plexiglass shards flying everywhere i know they make tools specifically just to cut plexiglass but i don't want to make another trip to the store and now please take your time plexiglass is very fragile this took about two hours for me to just to cut it out now once they are cut out we are going to go outside and spray all three of our shards with some spray paint that is where the bare antique pewter gloss hammered gray is going to come into play i like to spray a patch off to the side just to make sure i'm happy with the color once i know i'm happy with the color i'm going to give an even coat to all three shards making sure i leave no missing spots now once they're dried it is time to make them stand up on top of the stage now it is completely up to you on how you want to make them stand up i didn't list this in the materials but we are going to be using the corner brace i'm not going to be using the actual screws i just need the corner brace just so they can stand up and we're just going to place them right on the back and of course we're going to use crazy glue because it is super heavy duty and i'm just going to place some glue on the back and just stick it right onto the shard and i'm also going to do that for the second one and because we are using crazy glue the metal is going to bond to the plexiglass fairly quickly so within a matter of minutes it should be all dried up there's no reason why the corner braces can't hold the shards up especially because we haven't added any weight but there you see they're starting to come along now we are missing one extra piece the right side is done because it's all one piece but the left side is going to be a two piece so we have to do one extra step we have to add something to give it the illusion that it is floating up in the midair and how we execute that is just by cutting an extra piece of plexiglass the smaller the better because you want to make it look like it's just floating there so it'll make it look like invisible and don't forget to peel off the extra plastic on the back of the plexiglass now just add some glue to the shard now make sure to be efficient because crazy glue will dry fast once it dries you want to go and make a mark on where you want to connect it onto the first shard i just use an extra marker you can see a black dot that i added and i'm just going to glue it right on top trying to minimize the window gap between both of them just so you can't see that it's just that something is holding it i mean you can barely even see it and here it looks all done once it is dry you can barely even tell this is the back side of course now that we are done with both the left and right smackdown shard and they are standing on their own it is now time to use the wire now keep in mind when using the wire you're going to want to give yourself at least five inches for the curvature part of the curtain that is where the figures are going to walk through so here i am measuring five inches now you don't really need that much you can use more or less it's totally up to you i just think that's the perfect ratio for the size of these smackdown shards now, once you cut your wire, you're going to measure the five mark, bend it at the five mark so that that's the part for the curvature. And of course, I like to keep a figure on the side just for size reference. Now, once I bend and I am happy with the bend, I'm going to go ahead and crazy glue it down, making sure it sticks very well. And of course, we got to do one last check using MVP as the size reference. Once I'm happy, I'm going to put it off to the side. Now, what you do to the first one, you're going to do to the second one, you're going to measure out your five inches. You're going to cut your wire, you're going to bend it, and you're going to crazy glue it down, making sure it sticks well, and then putting it off to the side to let it dry. Now, moving on to the curtain, because most figures 
figures are seven inches tall, I'm going to give myself some extra room. I'm going to mark you at the 10 inch mark. Now, because I don't want to draw all over our curtain, I'm just going to place some dots at the 10 inch mark using those dots as a guide so I can cut in a straight line. Now, keep in mind, guys, you guys don't need that much cloth because the SmackDown charts, the curvature part is only five inches. You only need about 10 inches of cloth. Now, because this is such a big piece of cloth, I want to preserve it. I'm just going to go ahead and cut straight through. Now, at the top, you're going to want to bend it at least half an inch. That is where the wire is going to slide on. And how we tie this is, guys, we are going to be sewing so don't worry if you guys aren't professional sewers this took me about two hours just to sew through again you don't really need that much you only need about 10 inches i just cut all the way through and i sewed all the way through just in case i want to use it for future stages in the future now once you're done sewing you're going to want to cut it at the five inch mark once you're done cutting with the at the five inch mark for both currents you're just going to place it on slide it onto the wire it should be fairly easy and of course what you do to the first one you need to do to the second one and they are your smackdown shards all right and here is the finished product way better than i thought i'm so happy on how this turned out i can't wait to add this on top of our stage Stage. If you guys follow the channel, you guys know we're all about detail. We have the lighting, we have the fist, we have the shards at the bottom. Now we're going to be adding the curtain in front of the Minitron. And what's great is that for the first time, we have curtains on both left and right. We can have figures come out from either side, whether they're heel or face. It doesn't matter because now we have two sides. And speaking of the shards and the curtains, on the left curtain, I did... I did slice it right through the middle so that it's easier for figures to come out. I haven't done that to the side because I wasn't sure if I wanted to, but now that we have two sides, why not have the figures come out from both sides on our WMO series? So I think that's what I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna slice the second one also. I do have a quick note on the current. So I did make one small change to the current and that is in the video process, I showed you guys we were using this lead wire. Honestly, I thought it was gonna be good. It turned out not to be so good. 20 minutes later after I had finished this project or I thought I was done with this project, by the time I came back, it was already going down. It actually just, it was too much weight. Even though this cloth doesn't weigh anything, it's super lightweight, it was still too much for the for the lead wire. So if you guys are gonna do your own project, you guys can use whatever wire you want. I ended up using these this electrical tape and I'll link it right here. I'll put it in the, in the on the screen. It was like 33 cents per foot, way cheaper than paying $20 for this lead wire 33 cents a foot i ended up getting two feet one foot for each side and i was it was more than enough this was actually what i was left over this is just an example i i, I had left over of the current just to show you guys you guys could slide it but it still holds its shape so in whatever way you you bend it it'll hold its shape i strongly recommend you guys uh get this one because just because this one is going to be a waste of time it's just going to keep going down it's too much weight I wish I would have found the same color, at least gray or at least uh, silver or metal. This was the only color I was able to find that was strong. But make sure you guys test it because some are a little wonky and will be like the same feel as this, as this lead wire. So make sure for that. That's the only thing. Other than that, thank you Wrestling Maniacs for watching the video. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel and turn on those post notifications on. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram and TikTok. And if you guys do give this a shot, make sure to tag me. I want to see how your guys' Smackdown stage comes out. But until next time, Peace.